Greetings, brothers and sisters. The video devotional this week is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 12 to 13. There we read these words from the Apostle Paul. I know what it is to be in need. I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Back in the fall, the elders and Pastor Moses and I thought about a theme verse for this coming year, and this was the verse that we chose together after some conversation and prayerful consideration. When we chose this verse, we didn't know that at the time that we would be going through this COVID-19 pandemic and all of the restrictions that are associated with it and the inconveniences, but God knew. And I believe that the Holy Spirit was part of those considerations. It's part of our choices as we looked at this verse and thought about a verse that could really guide our conversation as a, as a congregation and speak into our experience over these months of this year that was to come as we began a new ministry year in September. Over the course of these last few weeks, I've thought about this verse often because it is our theme verse for the year. You may not remember that back from September. You may have uh, may not remember Pastor Moses preaching on it at the new year. But this is our theme verse, and I, I think it speaks to our situation, our, our circumstances, in a, in a particular way at this time. The Apostle Paul, when he wrote these words, was likely writing from prison. He was very near the end of his life. He was in a situation where it would have been understandable for him to not be content. And yet, throughout the, the letter to the Philippians, there's a sense of joy that, ex, that exudes from the words that Paul writes to the church at Philippi. It's a joy that's not based on his circumstances, because after all, his circumstances were not very good at the time. And we can think maybe the same, some of the same things during this time. We're tiring of our circumstances in some ways. The restrictions that we're under because of the virus and the worries we have, all the inconveniences that we've been subject to, it's getting old. Let's just say it. Our, but our circumstances are not where our joy comes from. Paul says he's learned the secret of being content in any and every circumstance, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in need. And here's that secret. The joy that we have, the contentment that we experience, is a condition of our heart and not tied to our circumstances. Whether those circumstances are difficult, like the experiences we've been going through in the last number of weeks, not being able to see family and friends, at least not in person, perhaps at best over a screen, those circumstances and the things that we miss about the way life used to be, those don't give us contentment. And I think if we're honest, if we looked, look back before all of this began, we can say that the circumstances, even though they might have been easier to deal with, those circumstances didn't really give us a sense of contentment either. And whether it was then or whether it's now, whether it's in the future when all this begins to fade and, and we move into a new reality, our contentment, our joy, the peace we have is grounded in Christ and in God's love for us that does not change. That's why we can be content whatever the circumstances, whatever plenty or need we face, whatever pain or, or joy we experience in life, we can be content. As we look forward to Sunday, we'll be reflecting uh, in the time during the worship and the sermon on this contentment that we have in Christ. Our contentment is not in our circumstances, but in an unchanging reality of God's love for us in Jesus. May you know that love, and may you be able to share it with others in tangible ways in these days to come. God bless you.